baby, I hope you said hi and goodbye to everyone <laughs> because you will never see that place again. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the new newest video. This one is from Capri probably. One of my favorite places on earth. I look like this because I just spent like a good four hours by the pool and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Woke up this morning at six. <laughs> Got picked up at seven to go to the airport. It's a bit of a mission to go to Capri. Like basically the way you get here is by usually flying to Naples. And then once you get to Naples, you have around like half an hour car ride to the port. After that, you take a little boat or a ferry, depends to make it to the island of Capri. And then you take a taxi, a car, what else you can hike which is not advisable with the luggage but you can send your luggage separately or you can even take a funiculari or something like that it's called in italian i have no idea like the the lift so it's like i don't know i've been to capri so many times and it's honestly one of my favorite favorite places on earth but in general when it comes to italy the more south i am the more kind of closer to home i feel naples though is i, I feel very like it's so strange because usually people say like oh you're too luxury for this kind of like you know lifestyle oh my god this is my like the soul the real rawness of naples is my vibe 1000 percent so anyway love it here you guys remember we came here also last year for the lucia bureau my unicef gala and we're back again this year i'm more excited than ever because jlo will be performing and i love jlo so yeah i left my boyfriend by the pool and i just wanted to come to the room to say a little hi to you we got so many gifts so many gifts and we kind of started unpacking but it never really you know materialized because we just wanted to get to the pool let me show you a little bit and yeah around here you can just see a bit of capri and then from the pool area which i think is over there you see like the infinite sea i'm in a bikini basically because i just came to the room for a second we are going to stay here for only like four days and i will show you everything we do i think i'll try at least but my boyfriend who is the best boyfriend in the world booked all of my favorite places so tonight we're going to aurora we have a bit of da paulino we have uh villa verde i think as well which is like the best pizza in capri we are going to... I'm sure we will end up at Anima Core at one point. We are going to do a boat ride. And also, he booked pretty much every day of Fontellina, which is my favorite beach in Capri. I love it. It's like an impossible mission to book it. But he knows someone who knows someone. I don't even know how these things work, you know? So anyway, without missing too much of sun on the first day, I'm going to leave you now. I'll update you on everything we're doing as we proceed. But, you know, let's go and enjoy a bit of the sun. Guys... Okay, isn't this a little bit better? I think my hair is still a little bit wet, so it's not perfectly styled, but I am dressed. I was just asking my boyfriend, should I wear this dress? Is it too much? And he told me tonight is the night to wear it. But this is the dress, you've seen it before. I showed it to you when I bought it. It's very tiny and I think when else to wear it but once in Capri. I did my makeup. I will link the dress by the way below and I'm wearing like a tiny little heel. It's not a heel because in Capri you don't really wear heels but it's kind of like a wedgie thing. Uh, I hate that my hair is like still a little bit wet and it's a little bit humid outside so I don't want to end up looking like Monica from France when she goes to the Caribbean. Hey, when I go places with high humidity it gets a little extra body. Very green today but I think I'm gonna wear my uh, gold mini Kelly so that will be the look green is the color isn't it so why not just go for it guys i really wanted to wear the green dress and then i took a picture i don't know if i should even insert the picture but i saw basically that my behind was out so i changed wearing a black classic Zimmerman very cute dress I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out I put on a little necklace because you can't really see my jewelry and stuff should I wear the black mini Kelly or this one I'm asking you mister uh, well depends the shoes the shoes are green yep. well then you should go black because yeah. of two colors two colors not this three two. two colors I actually thought I packed the black and then I realized I packed this one let's put it in that way if you were wearing black shoes 
then that bag would be amazing because the colors are two. But if you're wearing the green shoes, then the colors are three. So well, yeah, I agree, hundred percent. Actually, I'm not even sure about these shoes. Today, I'm not hundred percent easy to get dressed. Yeah, but sometimes it's fine yeah. to not uh, be, you know. It's okay. Anyway, let's get going. Good morning guys, it's our first whole day in Capri and I started it with some hiccups I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear them but I was just asking my boyfriend what do I do for hiccups because at the moment nothing's working so what do they say in your country or where you come from? Wait, wait, wait! Did you get scared? Ah, baby, yeah, I did get scared. Yeah, oh and, my that's, God. and that's how you... I thought I'm stepping in something. And that's how you stopped the... the oh thing? my God, I'm like... Yeah. But I got too scared. Did you stop now? Well, I think it stopped because I'm just scared. Let's see. If it Is works. that what they say in your country? Yeah. To scare someone. Let's see if it stopped. Once I remember I was in a class and I asked the professor if I can get up to go to the bathroom to drink some water because I was having this ingiazzi and he told me the hiccups and he told me that I have to. He said, How dare you ask such a question, interrupt my class, and now I'm gonna mark it on your record and this is gonna go towards your final grade. And I got so scared, and then he said, Did it work? Yeah, and now, but did it work? It did work. I don't know if I've ever actually shown you Capri, like the kind of main shopping street. Everything here is so beautiful. I need to do my fitting for the gala. And this is the town center, look, the town. Pomelato, Brunello, Gucci. I bought here last summer, I bought a bikini which was exclusive to Capri. It's like, look, stunning, stunning, stunning. Look at this suit. Yeah, I love it. Do you love it? It's the suit I wore when we were in Forte de Marmi with the shoes. How fabulous. Then over here we have Hermes, which I'm gonna be coming back to because I want, I have reserved some shoes that I want to get. Here we are coming more closer to Piazzetta now. Okay, so I was showing you Cusisana, but we quickly got distracted because we came to Chanel. But Cusisana is a really beautiful place where you can have a Puritivo and I love it because it's kind of like, you know, this, this like... Is, this is where the, the, everything happens. Yeah, and also the amount of like a Virgin and Kelly that you see here at night, right, baby? Yeah. I mean, we all know we like it, you know, a bit of inspiration. See, like a Bottega in Capri always has some really incredible pieces. I'm dying for my first coffee, so let's not stop too much. Okay, guys, gelato più buono di Capri. This is the best ice cream in town. There's always a queue here. Very loud here in the mornings because it's full of those cars. Because in Capri, obviously, like throughout these streets, which are the busiest streets, there's no traffic. So you get those cars that are very loud and fast, actually. And it's quite difficult to vlog. But those people, they have to do their job. So, you know, I'll just, we'll just have to cut whatever you can hear, you cannot hear from this intro because it's quite difficult to present this little island. And now we arrived at Piazzetta. It's so beautiful. We have Val Tiberio, you have bar where we always sit actually in fact this is our favorite table can you tell me your three favorite things about capri the water water let's see yeah okay one of the cleanest in the world okay then the food Maybe. like the best and um, and the coffee the coffee yeah now the coffee that's so pointless it's great in all of the italy you know, that's something that you don't know. No? No, because you are not Italian. There is oh. a specific thing about the coffee yeah, in Napoli. Yeah, but Serbia. And we, are, we know coffee, we consume more coffee than probably Okay, so let's world. see if you know what's the difference between the coffee in uh, Napoli and Capri and the coffee all in the rest of the I'll world. I'll tell you what is the difference. Yes, there are when two. You are, when you're in Capri and you drink coffee in the morning, you don't have to rush to work because you're on holiday. Mm -hmm. So it Lola. is the difference. No, but a good point. But it's a very good point. No, the, first of all, the temperature. The well, coffee in Napoli is super hot, like it burns your palate. That's the condizio sine qua non. Caro Dara would like that. She loves the burning Second, palate the water. Coffee. The water in uh, in this area, in this region, Napoli, Capri, Positano, it's different. That's why the pizza is the best because the water is the best. 
So the main ingredient of pizza and <laughs> coffee is water. Okay, I wanted just to ask what are your favorite things in uh, Capri and my favorite things in Capri are you people know, the watching. Fact, the, the fact that you get bored when I talk, it doesn't mean that they get bored when I talk. No, I never get bored when you talk, you're my favorite person in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just a bit like uh, teasing you. People watching, I loved people watching Piazzetta. The best. It's my favorite thing. The best. My second favorite thing, the Paraglioni Rocks, that you can take a little boat ride and look at Paraglioni Rocks. Yeah, that's, and, that's for tourists. No, it's not for tourists. I've seen Paraglioni, like, I don't know, like 25 times in my life on this a boat. This is called Sfoglia del. It's like nothing is better than this. My third favorite thing in Capri, I mean, guys, the food is another level. Aurora, the Villa Verde, the Paulino, uh, Pontalina. Do I even need to say more? Today we go to Pontalina for lunch. Yes. Uh, cannot <laughs> Guys, we had a little piazzetta croissant and coffee and walk around, pop by at Hermes and Chanel, can I tell you? But first things first, I need to pack my beach bag now, officially. This is going to be my beach bag. You have seen it. Have you seen it? If you follow my TikTok, for sure you have seen it. I think you have seen it here as well. I really love, love, love this. I mean, I'm currently wearing my workout gear because I was stretching a bit, but I will uh, put on something that actually does work with this outfit. So let's pack my bag because I feel like that's quite a useful. I can show you sort of like things that I pack in my bag. I'm gonna bring an exchange of swimming suits. So I will bring this one piece from Chanel and I will bring it with a shirt that I just bought, which is like in a super local coverage shop. I bought a linen shirt, like a man's linen shirt, but I bought it in size S. You know, I told you in one of my recent videos that I love when I'm on holidays to buy like super random, like no name shirt. Oh, it's so like has the little pin, you know how? I need to put it somewhere very carefully. This is the shirt. A linen like a Korean style uh, color so very chic and classic and I'm gonna bring it because I could kind of style it over the one-piece swim I think it would be very very cute let's throw it in the bag as my outfit change we're going to my favorite beach Fontelina so that's that then I need to bring a lot of beauty stuff, right? Because actually the sun protection is the most important thing. I mean, I tan, I spend a lot of time in the sun, in the water, etc. But it's important to like, you know, protect yourself. Now I have this beauty bag that I got last summer or summer before, I can't remember. It's like plastic and it's perfect because you know, like summer things, they tend to leak, okay? And we don't want them to leak over my new linen shirt. So this is from Kiara Stars. I got it last summer. And talking about Kiara Stars, one thing that I cannot live without when it comes to summer is the Soleil range for hair. It's like, for me, this is the most important thing together with the SPF for your skin because you cannot not protect your hair, like from everything, from the sun. Also because it's enriched with vitamin E, this formula, it obviously like protects each strand. And also, you know, like from sea from all of that stuff i always make sure that the moment i'm out of the sea i rinse out with the salt from my hair and to apply this to protect it from sun as well what i love about it is that so we have the oil which especially for my dry hair is so 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 good so we have like these two products this one i spray on on dry or dump hair and honestly like this one is enriched with babasu oil which is like nourishing so it like prevents your hair from feeling like crunchy and harsh which mine tends to sometimes feel especially if it's over treated etc and it smells divine so i love 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 this love it and it's also so easy because you just spray it, you know even when you're lazy whereas the cream you use again like before or after sun because it actually gives you the nourishment before or after sun has vitamin E like I said and it protects your hair from sun so very very important I have also like the shampoo and the mask in my shower which I'm not gonna show you right now because I'm not bringing it to the beach but obviously these are a must must have this whole range is incredible and I think I first discovered this range I don't know I'm gonna try and find it on my youtube channel when just so you can understand how long I've been using it um, this is Kerastar's Soleil range as well Now I have this van stick for sensible zones. I usually apply this on my lips. It's a 50 and honestly, my lips are quite sensitive for sun and I like to apply it also on my nose a little bit, but I have another one for my face. I still bring a lip balm, which is my Chanel Hydro Beauty. Love it, it's so good. That's for when we're sitting at the lunch. 
Now I have also SPF 50, like honestly I have so many different ones. I have the one from Biologic Research and I have one from Clé Depot that I love and I have one from La Prairie. They're all one, like incredible. It's just very important to me that I always apply SPF 50, especially here on the top of my forehead because it gets very dark on my nose and where I tend to get pigmentation. Love it. Now I bought um, these products. These are like creation products natural biobaza i love it it kind of like smells really good it's moisturizing and it's supposed to like enhance the tanning effect not as a fake tan but as a like helps you absorb the sun better but i just applied over spf a nail file i like to have it you never know i also have these sun tan boosting drops again helps you absorb it better and i have the same like oh no this is the after sun it's by brand called darling so that's it. I also need an SPF. I have several here. Tan activation, SPF 20. I have this one, SPF 30. So that is going into the bag in my Prada. Did I forget something? My boyfriend was like, make sure to bring everything. If I don't bring the, the hair care, the sun care by Kerastase, my boyfriend is not happy. He loves to also look after his hair. It's very important to both of us. Yesterday, because I also have like um, two kind of like hair masks. I'll show you. So obviously like when I'm in the summer holiday, I use the red Kerastase Soleil range because it's amazing to protect your hair. Like your, my hair is never softer than when I use this range in the summer months. I love it so much. But because I dye my hair, it gets a little bit orangey pigment from the sun and from the sea hair by itself. So I also bring this mask when I go on holidays, which is like the blue masks besides the red one. And this one just like, you know, like keeps it a little bit more cooler tone, let's say. So obviously I love it. And my boyfriend yesterday was like, why is the hair mask that I'm using so purple inside? Because obviously it is purple. It's supposed to be like that. But um, I was like, just use the red one. It's okay. And uh, so, yeah, we both like to look after our hair. It's very, very important, I would say. Now, what else am I going to bring? I am going to bring multivitamins that I want to drink. The room key. Ah, wait, my wallet. Very important. My phone. Very important. I just bought something as well that I don't need. That one comes but I love it and it's a swimsuit and a bikini in the same print from the Cocoa Beach collection now I will show you the bikini it basically is like a tweed bikini with a little Chanel can you see it sparkly logo so cute I definitely do not need it but I definitely love it and I also got a one piece which is I think incredible because I can wear it also as a top on the side it has all these bows Look how cute. I think it's so beautiful. Love it. But I will wear that tomorrow, maybe when we go on a boat. That's that. All for us, I need to bring two pieces for sunbathing. And I will wear a one piece and earphones so I can like listen to some music when I'm sunbathing. Oh my God, it's gonna be so heavy, but it's okay. And that's that. I think I also should bring some cold water in my pot for that shower. Let's do it because honestly the stairs to Fontalina Beach will be very intense on the way back. I became so good at drinking lots of water which even my skin can vouch for. That's that now. Let's get going. Guys please tell me is this the best view that one can have? Honestly I never ever ever can get over this view. I think it's so beautiful. We were just taking some pictures. Let me judge. Okay, baby, you did well. Huh? You did well, baby. I'll keep you as uh, my preferred photographer. There's Faraglioni rocks over there. There's my boyfriend risking his uh, life because he was taking a picture of me. And there's me in Capri. Let me tell them how is life on the edge to take pictures of your girlfriend. Life on the edge? Yeah. I think you're doing amazingly well. This view is so beautiful and we have to go all the way down to the beach which is basically over there so let's get going let's get going my love boyfriend's favorite boat is that one there but he likes strange things which is why he's with me i guess and my favorite 
I think the one below, just because it looks like it has a little fun playground, no, you see? My favorite one are the vintage ones. The vintage ones? Yeah. I also I like this one over there. Yeah. Oh, I know which ones you like exactly, like there. That one over there, yep. the, with the wooden... Um... Exactly. We are now at my favorite, I think this is one of my two favorite beaches in the world. Had a swim, had a shower, washed my hair. I really, really love being here. I'm actually gonna change after lunch, which is not the smartest thing to do. But I'm gonna change after lunch into a two-piece because I want to sunbathe more but even like this you know you sunbathe every part of your body except from your belly which is fine I'm just gonna put some protection because I was in the water so the hair protection first I'm actually putting the cream just because I want I don't want my hair as it dries I want it to dry a bit to like more evenly and not to tangle maybe I think you should also use this the hair protection from the Sun and then I'm gonna apply a little bit of oil because I like to do more care so the UV cream then as you guys know SPF 50 just like I keep reapplying always on top of my forehead because I don't like to tan too much on top of my forehead and on my nose which always burns for some reason not burn but my nose always tends to get more tan than the rest of my face I like to catch tan here because that gives me like such a nice glow I don't know my lips and a bit of a tan booster and the SPF for the body so one thing at a time. Baby, shall I apply some SPF for you? Yes. Okay. Do I get girlfriend points? Of course. Wifey for lifey. Can I have your hair at the back? Oh, what? Your hair. I'm gonna do your UV protection for your hair. Thank you. You will thank me later. And also for me. As well, a bit on top where I didn't apply the cream. Because you can never be safe enough and some SPF for me too do I look like a mime I don't know if my face is completely like white because of the cream I think I'll take my watch off because I get a really big tan lines and then we're gonna go for lunch my favorite beach probably in the whole entire world my new linen shirt I'm wearing the Chanel hat and the swim and we're gonna have a lunch in a second we literally got the most incredible table look at this view beautiful and we ordered caprese to share it's my favorite it's my favorite one of my top five dishes and also parmigiana which is also one of my top five dishes this is not very health friendly and diet friendly but this is everything time for the main course i want you guys to leave a comment below what are your favorite pastas my favorite pasta is pasta pomodoro simple in second place mongole and in third place truffle of course baby of course the winner is the spaghetti alle mongole for me a simple pomodoro pasta because when it's good it's the best guys to go down is tough but to go up is not recommendable Wait, huh I don't recommend it though the view is incredible but in the heat you're going like up up the hill basically and yeah it's very hot and very intense and I'm wearing platform shoes which also isn't recommended maybe I remember last year we did this uphill you were like basically <laughs> cursing me and saying like it was now and never again do you feel the same Maybe I hope you said hi and goodbye to everyone because you will never see that place again. <laughs> Honestly guys, the climb up. And I don't know why we did it. Why didn't we just take a boat? Because we are adventurous. Yeah. No? Hikers. Yeah. We like the physical... No, we don't. Hike? Okay, it's time to go back home. We have the most beautiful walk. And we're going to the pool because it's that time of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, much more presentable except that my hair is wet and I hope it's gonna dry properly because I'm not gonna be drying it myself. But I like to let it dry nicely, you know, and all of that good stuff. So tonight we're going to one of our favorite restaurants, the Paulino. I think it comes like at, I would say in top three, but it's like probably like number two. Do you agree? Excuse me? Yes. Did you ask me for an opinion what shoes you should wear? And I said slip like the slides and you're wearing boots. Yeah. 
But, I ask you your opinion because I do the opposite. But equally so, I ask you which bag I should wear and you said blue and I'm wearing the brown. Okay, can we do that properly? What? Can I hold the camera? Let's do this. Let's play this game. Sorry guys for the mess behind, but you know, my it's girlfriend is a little bit of a... <laughs> you know, look, look at my side. Amazing. Look at her side. Amazing. LOL. No, don't show that. What do you mean? But, Baby, I showed the truth. Why are you trying to publicly embarrass me? No, I don't publicly embarrass him, but I want all your followers knowing what I'm dealing with every day, but also with the fact that you are the most incredible woman in the whole world. A little bit messy, but you know. What would you rather have? Like a super messy girlfriend that is loyal and respects you, or the one that disrespects you is disloyal, but everything is tidy and she cooks a meal every day at home? No, 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 baby, I wouldn't change you for <laughs> nobody else. Anyway. So, uh, the choice the is between uh, the... This is my outfit. The dress is from Luisa Via Roma. I have like four new dresses that I'm going to show you throughout this trip. But this one is probably one of my favorite. I think I have like two or three from Angle Boutroux. Yeah. This is... I will link it below. You guys have to check it out because I think even my boyfriend said it's one of the most beautiful dresses. I'm wearing it with also one of my most... My favorite heels from Bottega. Like, I had these shoes since I think the beginning of 2020. Love them. And a gold mini Kelly. Though my boyfriend thinks I should wear blue bra there was There was a little bit of an argue about yeah. that. Because I do think she should go for the baby blue one. He thinks I should wear this one. I do. But I think I should wear this one. Yeah. And I'm gonna wear this. But I respect your opinion, you know? You like this. But yesterday you said two colors only. It's true. But in this case, I wanted to give it a little bit of light Don't to worry, the outfit. I'll tomorrow. I'll give you a chance. So pretty. Ready? Yes, I'm ready for a date night. Good morning, guys. My boyfriend's waiting for me to go down to Piazzetta for a coffee. I'm wearing a Prada nylon shorts, top, new bag, and orange sandals. I'm going to go have a coffee, to enjoy a little bit by the pool, and then we're going to have a whole party later on today. Um, also, want to pop by the Prada because. I think we always have some incredible things in Capri and also Gucci because we love Gucci. So. She's shown you much of and now remember how yesterday my boyfriend said say goodbye to Fontalina because you will not be going back there we went back there famous last words and now we're going back on this hike again I don't know why but c'est la vie we like to torture ourselves as it seems but the view is really always worth it Buongiorno a tutti! Now we are at uh, Punta Tragara, I think, and it's just like we came for a walk because my boyfriend wanted to stretch his legs today. How the times have changed. But the view, you know, this view never gets old. There are the Paragioni rocks, right? And then on the right hand side, we get like basically exhibition of gold. It's insane. It's so beautiful. What are we doing today? Today we're going to Gala tonight. But before that, I just want to catch a lot of sun and... Would you like to reveal your look of the night? Or a little... Uh, just give a be, little... It's going to be Sun Run, Spring Summer 22. Something. Anyway, I'm boiling. I am wearing what I'm wearing, as you can see. And I'm boiling and I really want to go... And swim. Which is in Italian? Notare. A nuotare, brava!
there is the oh this one this i didn't know now yeah. i understood it means uh, let's go yeah it's like you know we are in a situation where it's time to leave i'll look at you and i'll be like baby yes. let's go andiamo yes guys we came back from a little coffee and a little walk honestly like capri has a very special energy okay so the point is that we really both love capri and we come here every year and it's just like i don't know it feels like a village in a way where everybody knows everybody everything is so cute but then there is that level of like fun and entertainment and amazing food and great restaurants well-dressed people like it's it's so inspiring i find it so inspiring tonight we're going to gala like you guys know and i kind of like feel like i'm at a point where i don't really i don't know like i've done a lot a lot of galas last year like even this year quite a few and i'm like you know i love to join my luz my family so many times and it's so beautiful but this summer i wanted to start vacation a little bit earlier however the fact that jlo is singing is like i'm such a jlo fan like huge okay so tonight that's gonna be it i'm very very much looking forward to it i'm wearing a summer run dress that i will show you and after that tomorrow we're going home where i am beyond myself excited because because we will be like seeing for the first time ever my walk-in wardrobe which has been built in the meanwhile i cannot tell you how happy i am like i'm so so excited because no words no explanation needed i cannot wait to put all of my clothes i managed to even like empty a little bit of the wardrobe so that i get rid of the stuff that i'm not wearing you can find the things that i'm selling actually on my depop account i will link it below so you guys can check it out and that's that now i'm gonna put my hair protection my sun lotion and i'm gonna head down to the pool after a day spent at the pool washed hair both of us right and currently going to go into trucco e perucco baby it's a trucco e parrucco <laughs> That's just say, love. Now I wear my sunglasses. I mean, your shorts, I have to show. I love them so much. These are like my favorite shorts you own. Thank you. Love them so much because it reminds me of like a goblin that my grandma used to make. I know. Like basically the same kind But of yeah, I, you know, I love vintage grandpa kind of. But Louis Vuitton. Okay, I'm gonna change into something a bit more like whatever, easier to take off once the makeup and hair is done. And... We're gonna go get ready for gala! I did not vlog anything because I went to get my hair done by... that was all arranged by Liz Vera and my team. I'm wearing a Saint Laurent dress that I will insert some clips, pictures, videos, whatever I have, I'll show you. My mini Kelly wearing various different jewels and we're heading to the gala now. As always, I did my own makeup, in case you're wondering. And uh, the hair was professionally done because that I can not do by myself. Spring Summer 22 runway show, my mini Kelly, and I got this jewelry piece as well. I will link it below if I can find a link for it. I think it's all beautiful. So, ready for the gala? Last gala, I was here with my boyfriend, but we were not official. And now we are. So, this is cute. I mean, we were official, but we were not public. That's the better way to say it. We arrived and. Uh, enough of this and this beautiful view hi capri always so beautiful 
and I'm not even leaving empty-handed so cannot complain guys and just like that we're back in Milan last night's gala was really I mean I can, I can barely feel my feet I wore those shoes that you've seen they're super beautiful but I pretty much jumped in front of JLo for like those half an hour that was incredible no it was great and uh, now we are already home how was the trip back with me can you say something as, as always how is the flight back the flight is uh, you sit and uh, when we're still in the, um, in the, in the runway land, in the runway you already start the strip that's it because there is something you guys have to know <laughs> whenever Tamara's body is not moving is sleeping that's true as simple but as that. you know that's a sign of a very healthy like brain healthy 100% hundred percent so, but I mean the fact that well. you can sleep pretty much anywhere it's kind of unique did you like what I wore last night I love it yes I love yeah it. but you wear Saint Laurent in a very very uh, complete way I would say what I would like to say is that last night was the first time that we ever did a red carpet together because even the last gala we were kind of uh, we did well we were very official, we lived together, but we were not like public. Mm -hmm. So this was the first kind of recovery. How did you like that? Well, I'm sorry, but you know, I couldn't sleep in the plane <laughs> because someone has to take care of, uh, you know, the family business in the meantime. Uh, but um, no, no, it was, you know, I'm nice, not, a, no? I'm, yeah, I'm not a, you know, a red carpet guy, yeah. but, uh, you, like, but you are, so you, you leaded me. And I really had a great time with my friends. Last night, guys, I met one of my favorite designers ever in real life, Magda Bertram. She was so nice. She's the best. And She's that was a nice. highlight, really, for me. On the Another brand that you wear in a very, very complete way. I love Magda. Yeah. She's amazing. So, that's it. Now we're heading home to see my new wardrobe for the first time, which makes me very, very excited because it's done and I haven't seen the process. But next video will probably be well, no, it's not going to be my new wardrobe the next video, but one of the next videos will be revealed on my new wardrobe. So, I'll see you guys. Bye.